in that suite. Houston to New York City for Reba. <laughs> and we're here with the legend right now, Reba McIntyre, is filling in for Hoda. They came to your show this weekend? They did. How much fun is that? It was. We were in Manchester, New Hampshire Thursday, and then Hershey, Pennsylvania Friday, and then played the gardens here in New York City Saturday night. And a lot of those folks were at all three all concerts. All three shows? Oh, my gosh. Your fans are incredible. They okay. Are. Reba, are you ready for this? Yes. It's time for one of our favorite segments. Yes. Hoda and, and Jenna social dilemmas. dilemmas. Of course you can speak in unison. <laughs> okay, here's the first one. This okay. is going to be tricky. Ready? Right, ready? I'm invited to a good friend's wedding, and I know my ex-boyfriend is attending with his current girlfriend. I told my friend I can't go and see them together. She doesn't understand and said I hurt her feelings. Hmm. What do I do now? Well, pick another friend. She ought to be more sympathetic with you on right? down that. I think sometimes when people are getting married, they forget that other people exist. You know what I mean? I know. And if, I yeah. think you should, you should just say... I, it's it's not about you. <laughs> yeah. I can't do it. Sorry, I just can't do it. Yeah. And then walk away. Okay, that's it? That's it. I like how Reba has just, like, cold and fast rules. Yep. Um, okay, here's the next okay, one. Okay, ready? My daughter is mad at me because she says I watch her sister's kids more than hers. Truth is, her sister's kids are much better <laughs> behaved. Is this for my parents? <laughs> <laughs> Did my parents submit this? How can I tell her without hurting her feelings? Well, I think it's gone on too far. If her kids don't don't really uh, yeah. respect her place, her surroundings, her areas, uh, her personal things, uh, that should have been taken care of a long time ago. Okay. Grandma needs to be in there taking over and disciplining. Okay. Is that the Does way it this happens come, with are you, I, Well, I'm like, no. No? No, my parents do the opposite where they just, like, you know, they kind of break up the schedules. Like, they're like, oh, sure, iPad? You can have our iPad all morning, and you want ice cream for breakfast? Sure. <laughs> and then we have to kind of wheel retrain. them back, retrain. Yeah. Because I think they think the grandparent's job is just to be as fun as possible. You know, when Mama would take Shelby, uh, she would let him decorate the Christmas tree. <laughs> you know, he was, like, three or four years old, and, and, it, and the balls, the red balls around the Christmas tree were just all that high, that high. <laughs> Nothing up high at all. So you're right, they do spoil right? a lot. And then just give them back to you with a grin. Totally. And then you'd have to parent them with the tons of sugar. Yes. But I do think sometimes it's complicated with siblings because I think you think, oh my gosh, does she prefer the other one? Does mom care more about the other one? Then yeah. when it also is probably just, you know, the ages of kids. Like I have kids that are 10, if you can believe it, which is probably the year we first met. Yes. 10, 7, and 3. Oh and that's a gosh. lot for yeah, 75 year old parents to handle. Yeah. And my daughter, my sister has one baby who doesn't really move, you know? <laughs> so that is a lot easier. It's not a personal necessarily. Yeah, you have your kids, you, you become a grandparent. Yeah. And then you, it's just like I dog sit for, for Shelby and Marissa's yeah. uh, when they go out of town sometime. And that's a lot of work too. Yes. I mean, it's a different scale. Yeah. But you have to be attentive. Yes. Are you hoping to become a grandmother? I would. Yeah. I'd love. I was going to say, I could feel that you'd yeah. be excellent. Oh, okay, nice. here's the last nice. one. Okay. I went out with a group of former high school friends and acquaintances. One girl spent a long time chatting with my husband. Oh, uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Later, she told me what a nice guy he is and asked if they could continue their conversation on a walk together soon. Am I crazy, or does that seem like she's making moves on my hubby? Our marriage is terrific. He's not so much hers, not so much. Oh, she's married, too. What would you have said? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I say no. <laughs> what would happen Can't... if somebody asked Sugar Tot? No. Yeah, Sugar, sugar tot. tot. What would happen if somebody asked Sugar Tot to go for a walk? What would you say? I would say, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Not my boyfriend. <laughs> well, if it was your sisters, that'd be okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sisters. Yeah. But if a girlfriend was like, hey, Sugar Tot and I had a great conversation, can we continue it on a walk? Why not right here in front of me? <laughs> That's what I'd have to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like walks are kind of intimate. Too. Uh -huh. I think you should only walk with your significant other. I agree. I agree. Right? All Is three that of us can go on a walk. Yeah, or nah. all three of you. Yeah. Okay. I'll go with you. That's right. what I'd say. Get your paws off Sugar Todd. That's what I would say. <laughs> all right. If you got... I just want to say Sugar Todd as many times as possible. It is cute. It's so cute. All right. If you've got a social dilemma, tell us about it at hodanjenna.com and just hit that connect button.